Good afternoon. Welcome to Midday Prayer. We will begin um, as soon as I see a few people show up. Hello, welcome, welcome. We're going to continue our time together um, uh, using this uh, Advent and Christmas devotional called Under African Skies. And um, it's by Carolyn Butler. And um, it's been very helpful for me to just kind of put some things in perspective for this Advent season. Um, today's, and it is the third Monday of Advent, so we're already in week three, y'all. It's wild. Um, so <laughs> welcome to week three of Advent. And, uh, this particular, uh, Advent reflection is called Wait for the Lord. And, um, Carolyn Butler makes a really good point here about what it means to actually wait. And she offers that we're not very good at it, which I think is true. I think, <laughs> I think in our society, um, it is not very easy to wait for things. Um, and we do, we do hope for like a quick gratification for things like we we expect things to like kind of be quick and i will i will admit that um i find that it's hard for me like when i am buying things or like let's just say christmas gifts right um some people are very good at purchasing well in advance i may take a, a little while <laughs> but there's something really challenging for me when I see that like, oh, this is going to take two weeks. Like why? And it's really because I expect that things will be come to come quickly. And I think that's not really necessarily the best way to, <laughs> um, to live out life sometimes. Um, not to say that you can you know, hope for efficiency and things to come, you know, as they come, but I, I'm learning. That's a little growing edge for me. So just being vulnerable and at, and adding to the conversation about like what it means to wait. So Carolyn Butler is from South Africa and she offers that um, oftentimes waiting, when we wait for something, we are waiting um, that for things that have an initial kind of negative um, facet. So something that starts off being negative. Good afternoon, Stephanie. Hi. Um, so, you know, she lists waiting for news of someone who is separated from us, waiting um, in grief, um, waiting for a doctor's diagnosis, all of those things. So those kind of things kind of, um, they start off like with something negative and we're waiting for a positive or waiting for something to change. And I think we do have those conversations. We learn, you know, on Sundays, sometimes we talk about the things that we're waiting for um, beyond the things that are harder, right? And that's totally, totally understandable. And she offers, hi, Sharon, she offers um, this quotation from um, Gertrude Nelson, um, and it's a, something that was published called To Dance With God. And basically that waiting um, in Advent is all about kind of um, is all about becoming and the feminine aspect of waiting 
is um, about that period of just quiet um, transformation of fermenting or ripening um, and brewing like in childbirth, right? So there's a waiting period of nine months, which is a, can be seemingly long and short at the same time, but there's something you're waiting for that is not always about a negative thing, right? And that this time of waiting can also be about just waiting for things to, like the transformation to happen, waiting for um, something to grow out of of out of where where you are, right? And having that patience to to just wait <laughs> um, on that. And I hope I'm making sense. So I, I found that to be very helpful. Um, that what we are also waiting for is beyond um, just a negative thing, like coming out of something negative. It is also we are waiting for something to be birthed, as in the baby Jesus, right? So there is something new, something transformative. Um, and that is also a part of the waiting, right? Um, so hopefully that resonated for whomever needed it, it needed it. And if not, feel free to, you know, keep on waiting for what you need to wait for. <laughs> um, actually, you know, while we while I go into the song, feel free to share if you during this Advent season, if you find yourself waiting for something um, that might be a little difficult or maybe it's not something negative, but it's something that you've just been you just realize, hey, this is a time for me to just be patient and uh, feel free to share if you're waiting for something. OK, it can be anything. It doesn't have to be something spiritual. Um, and we're going to move on. So today I am going to do the Teze song, Wait for the Lord, and then go into this prayer that is a part of this reflection. And I'm sorry, I realized that I missed reading the scripture that came with it. So I'm going to read that first. And she quotes Isaiah 40, verses 28 and 31. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. Those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. So a renewal. And then the reflection. Yeah, I'm just going to keep with my question. <laughs> I will end with this prayer, though, that is here. So hopefully just get yourself in a good space and um yeah thank you for sharing that stephanie mm. we will be praying for you um that this new job might be revealed for you i definitely hold you in prayer for that all right thank you for sharing that all right feel free to uh to share if you are also waiting for anything all right, we're going to start praying. <laughs> Wait for the Lord whose day is near. Wait for the Lord. Be strong, take heart. Wait for the Lord whose day is near. Wait for the Lord, be strong, take heart. Wait for the Lord whose day is near. Wait for the Lord, be strong, take heart. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm.
In Advent time, when longing and waiting for the coming of the Lord, our hearts desire the warmth of your your love and our minds are searching for the light of your word. Increase our longing for Christ our Savior and give us the strength to grow in love that the dawn of his coming may find us rejoicing in his presence and welcoming the light of his truth. Amen. All right, friends, thank you so much for joining and thank you for just taking the time uh, out of your day to breathe together, to pray together. It's always wonderful being here with you. And I hope that you find courage and also patience in this time of waiting. Um, And again, we will be praying with you, Stephanie, um, that if this is not the right one, which hopefully it is, uh, that the the right one will come your way. Keep open, opening your hearts, dear ones, and know that um, you are loved. All right, peace. Pastor Mike will be here on Wednesday and Friday and I will see you guys next week. Bye.